What do you make of Jesus? He spoke as the King of Heaven, but served like the lowest slave. He claimed to be the hope of the world, yet gave up his life on the cross. Have you ever wondered how Jesus saw the big issues? God, the world, and you? Here's life according to Jesus in 3, 2, 1. 3. God is a loving union of three. I don't know how you picture God, but according to the Bible, Jesus is our picture of God. He's called the image of God, the word of God, the exact representation of God. To know God, we should look at him. And what do we see? A loving union of three. Here's one picture of it from Matthew chapter 3. Jesus was standing one day in the Jordan River. The Holy Spirit hovered over him like a dove, and the Father called from heaven, You are my Son who I love, with you I am well pleased. According to the Bible, this family of love predated and produced the world. And there's good news. The Son of God has come to invite us in. 2. The world is shaped by two representatives. The Bible begins with the story of Adam. Adam is a name that means humanity. He's a representative. In the beginning, he turned from God, turned in on himself, and plunged the world down into death and curse. This is the life we know, the life of selfishness and death. Jesus, though, is the second Adam. Where Adam and all of us fail, the Son of God took charge. He lived the life that we should live, then on the cross, he died the death that we should die. On Easter Sunday, he rose again to new life. And this life is ours if we are one with him. One. You are one with Adam. Be one with Jesus. We're all a part of the selfishness of Adam, and we all feel the curse of his broken world. But Jesus offers us new life. If we trust in Jesus, we become one with him. We can give him our selfishness and sin, and he deals with it on the cross. In return, he gives us himself forever. Connected to him, we enter the family of God, and now, together, we can know his Father as our Father, his Spirit as our Spirit, and his future as our future. You see, Jesus will come again to raise up this world the way he was raised, to eternal life and peace. On that day, God will judge the world, confirming his no to Adam and his yes to Jesus. That's life according to Jesus. What's our response? Right now, the Son of God offers you life, hope, forgiveness, and eternal love in the family of God. Call out to him. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life.